what's up y'all it's your girl red rihanna and today's video is going to be a little bit different it's gonna be a little bit different because i normally don't just get on here and like chit chat with y'all and like talk with y'all so a lot of y'all always just been like y'all been messaging me like can you make a video and i'm just like of what like i'm like what y'all want to like what y'all want me to do but i guess the reason i'm like that is because when I started my YouTube channel, it was for music. It was strictly for music. So I never visioned myself being a vlogger or a content creator. You know, my focus was just strictly putting music on YouTube. That's all I wanted people to see. That's all I wanted people to know was just my artistic side. But as I'm growing more, as I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm living life and I'm finding myself like, you know, wanting to chit chat with y'all, wanting to update y'all because you know what I'm saying y'all really follow me and support me we almost at a hundred thousand subscribers <laughs> yeah so I had to take a moment just to do that but so we almost at a hundred thousand subscribers and I really 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 do appreciate y'all so much so I want to listen to y'all feedback and you know what I'm saying and do some of the things y'all asked me to do because you know y'all learn you know y'all make it happen so um, like I say, a lot of y'all DM me and just like, can you make more videos? And and just one girl, she was like, I don't even know your real name. And I was just like, why you need to know my real name? Like, I'm Red Rihanna. That's all you need to know. <laughs> but when I sat down and actually thought about it and stuff like that, I'm just like, you know what? You know, these pe my supporters and my fans, they're absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? They know what they want to see. Y'all want to feel personable with me and y'all want to relate to me and really get to know me. So... I'm coming out of my shell a little bit. I think I, I think it, I'm like that because I come from an era where putting your business out on social media and just like, that wasn't a thing. You know what I'm saying? When I grew up, we just like, we played more outside than we did on the internet. So I'm not really internet savvy, even though I can make stuff that is appropriate for the internet. It can go viral, whatever the case may be. I'm just not like an internet girl. Like I'm on the internet, but I'm not on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So, but today's video is just going to be chit chat and I'm actually do my makeup too. So, boo baby. I hope, let us pray. I hope my makeup come out right. Cause baby, you know, so let's get into it. But yeah, so this video, we're just going to be doing a little chit chat and a little a little talking about life. Where has Red Rihanna been? What is Red Rihanna doing? When is more music coming out? Girl, you don't drop videos. Um, my face is already cleaned and moisturized and hydrated. All that good stuff. Y'all know. Y'all know the drill. If you want to know like the products and stuff that I use, I will link it below so y'all can look at that. But um, so I'm not going to be talking much about what I'm doing as far as makeup because that's not the purpose of this video but I'm doing my makeup on here just so the video is not like boring and I'm just sitting here talking and plus I'm going somewhere later with my friends so killing two birds and one stone right so like I said this video is just going to be about just like life and what's happening just to update y'all what's been going on and things like that so I am coming out with new music, y'all. Just be patient with me because, you know, life happens to everybody. Even people who are popular. Even people who have a lot of subscribers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Life still happens for us. We still go through things. And I'm at a space right now where, like, I'm transitioning. I'm I'm, I'm really, like, transitioning from... <sighs> whew, I'm just transitioning, okay? I can feel it. I can feel it in my soul. I can feel it in my spirit. I can just feel it. So with that being said, I needed to take like a break. I needed to take a pause and just really like, you know, figure some shit out, really figure out what I wanted to do. So during that break, you know, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about what I want to do as far as my career and stuff like that. So I'm I'm getting back into it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm really getting back into it and I will have some new music. And I feel like, too, the break that I took, it was much needed because now I have things to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Because I went through a little anxiety. Um, I dealt with COVID. Um, COVID actually hit me. 
Um, thank God it didn't hit Dakota and she was with me. So I have a lot of things to talk about now. You know, I've had death in the family. It's just been a lot of things going on, you know, the pandemic, of course. So with this new music, I can talk about, you know, just all of those things, like real life things, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really excited about that. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Y'all, this damn mirror, I cannot. Oh, whatever. But... So that's where I'm at with it. I needed a break. And I feel like sometimes you need to take a break because it's like, you'll go crazy if you just keep going and going and going and going and going and you don't really have a sense of direction. You don't really have a sense of like purpose. Like you just doing shit just to be doing it. You know what I'm saying? And it will burn you out. It will make you tired. So I feel like it's very important that you know um, that you have like a sense of direction and you're just not doing shit just to do it. You know what I'm saying? Know your purpose, know your reason and then get shit done. So for me, I needed a break cause big mama was tired. I was, I was tired. I was burnt out. And so I was feeling like, you know, my career not going how I want it to go and da 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 da. So I needed to take a break. Come on eyebrow. Come on eyebrow. Y'all my ladies. Mm -mm. Come on eyebrow. But so yeah, if you are going through the same thing, I just want to encourage you to just hang in there, like just be encouraged, get around some people who will send you encouraging quotes from time to time, get around some people who will just check in on you from time to time. But understand when you get to this space that I was in, you're going to have to go through some shit alone. You're going to have to go through some dark days by yourself, no man, no girlfriend, mama daddy sister brother auntie cousin no liquor no partying nothing can really save you but you you know what i'm saying so i was at that place where i didn't want nothing like i didn't want to party i didn't want to shit i didn't want to do music i didn't want to do anything i just so i knew it was time for me to just be still you know what i'm saying and a lot of people can't handle being still a lot of people lose their mind when they have to literally sit still it's almost like I was in jail, but I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I was like in jail within my own self, you know? So that's where I'm at with it, but I'm in a much better space. And I guess that's why I'm able to like get on here and talk about it. And then too, I just was like, mm, people don't want to hear this shit. But then I'm like, there is somebody that can relate to this. There is somebody that can see y'all can't multitask. I can't do my makeup and talk. Um, there is somebody that could benefit from this video. And if I only touch one person, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just feel like it's important that I just, that I show y'all more than just music. You know what I'm saying? I think it's important that y'all know who I am as a person, um, my beliefs, my morals, my values, just like, you know, who I am. And, and you can't get that in just my music. You know what I'm saying? And when you learn who I am, you'll know, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll know why I make some of the music that I make. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to relate to my music a little bit more. So yeah, that's where I've been at. But I am gonna make some more music. I'm um I'm over COVID now. I took a test recently and it came back negative. Thank God, because I tested positive twice. Um yeah, so I tested positive twice and I was like, oh my god. And they were saying that you could test positive for up to 90 days and um not be contagious as long as you don't have symptoms and stuff like that. The only symptom that I have lingering currently is um taste and smell no taste and smell but they said that's the longest um symptom that will take a while to come back so i can taste it's just at like 75 percent so food just doesn't taste the same anymore like some of my favorite foods just taste completely different you know what i'm saying so that's where i'm at with it but y'all my brows look cute because i cannot do makeup and i cannot do it i just can't do it but um and i use got to be this ain't like the this this not the this not like gorilla glue y'all know what i'm talking about this this just helps um make the brows just look wet and like i don't know it just help them look and stay in place so i just use a little bit of that on each side just to like make them look wet and to like put them in place so yeah do not use gorilla glue gorilla snot do not use that Okay, this stuff comes off with water. Like, so yeah. But new music is coming. I'm excited about it. Um, 
I want to know what kind of music y'all want to hear from me. Do y'all want to hear some heartbreak shit? Y'all want to hear some in love? Y'all want to hear some, you know, of course, everybody want to hear some club, you know, but everybody isn't always on that either. You know what I'm saying? I want to make music that you could play in a car around your family around your kids i want to make all kinds of music so but i just want to know where y'all at with it like what space are you in right now what you need to hear from red rihanna like you need some hoochie mama shit like what y'all what y'all need talk to me so just in the comments let me know what y'all want to hear and i see what i can do but yeah so COVID was very scary for me because um I had my daughter, of course, and I did not want to get her sick. I, You know what I'm saying? I just, oh my God, it was so scary. And it's literally nothing nobody can do. Can't nobody come help take care of you. So I'm literally sick as hell, head hurting, sneezing, head, like I'm so congested and literally nobody can come help me take care of Dakota, nothing. Like I got to do this shit all by myself. Because, you know, you, you don't want to infect other people. My mom, she would come bring me groceries and, like, put it on a step and, like, run. I mean, on the doorstep and run. And, like, I would open the door and be, like, peeking out the door like this. Like, hey. And it's just like, oh, my God. Like, y'all, it was just so, like, not a good feeling. Because I'm just like, I need a hug. I need my mama. Like, I'm sick. Like, literally sleeping, like, because you cannot breathe out your nose. Like, it was a lot. It was a lot. But um, the things that I did to keep myself healthy was um, drinking a lot of fluids. I drank a lot of water, Gatorade, um, orange juice, um, like warm water. The warm water helped like with the headache and helped loosen up all the congestion and stuff. Um, I drank a lot of emergency um, I had some elderberry pills, some probiotics, and just getting rest. Um, because the first week was very rough. Um, I was just very tired. Um, very, very, very tired. And just my head, like I just I just was not feeling good. So at first I thought it was just a bad like sinus infection. Cause I know I'm I get congested very, very easy. Like I have bad sinuses and allergies. So I just thought it was that. But then when I lost my taste and smell, like I could not taste nothing like nothing and i get colds i've had a cold in the cold a few colds in the past where you know i couldn't taste and smell you know you get so stuffy you can't taste and smell your food but this was like okay we're going on day three we're going on day four which is day 20 and i still can't taste and smell so that's why i went and got tested and it came back positive and so i just quarantined immediately um i let all my family and friends know and you know they were very supportive and there for me um the best way they could be you know ask me did i need anything to send me groceries and stuff like that so it was just it was just a very rough rough process i was off work i kept kokoda home from school for two weeks so yeah it oh baby so y'all just make sure y'all um be safe y'all make sure to wear y'all mask y'all make sure to wash y'all hands like, for real, don't be around people who coughing. I don't give a damn if they tell you they smoke. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You coughing, and we in the middle of a goddamn pandemic. No, it's because when I was not sick, well, I didn't cough. I, that was one of the symptoms I did not have. I wasn't coughing. Um, I was sneezing a lot. I was I was just sneezing. Um, So, like, when I was not sick, I was never, I never cough. Like, there's no reason you should be coughing. I don't care if you do smoke. It's no reason you should be coughing right now, but... I just want y'all to be safe. So, you know what I'm saying? Wear your mask, you know, and eliminate people if you have to. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you can. They're, like, if you don't have to be around people, don't. If you don't, like, just... Ooh, baby. It, it's a lot. It, it really was. But I'm so thankful that I've, I'm have i recovered now. My results are negative. Coda went back to school. I went back to work. And, yeah, so I'm good. Um, It was scary, but... So past that, I um a few of y'all be asking me about like dating and stuff like that. I'd be like, y'all so nosy and so in my business all the time. And I don't like that. <laughs> no, let me stop. But I'm single, okay? I'm single right now, but I am like dating. So, and I'm the type of person I don't like to date 
a lot of people at once. You know what I'm saying? If I find somebody I really like and like the vibe is good, I'll cut everything off, you know, for that person and see where it go. Like, I don't mind, like, if the situation don't work out, I don't mind like, okay, nah, I don't got no holes no more. So now I got to, you know, wait until somebody else come along or whatever the case may be. But I'm single. Um, I'm single, but dating. So it's just like relationships are difficult for me because so many guys always basically in so many words they always say like you know you just you like too much like i'm i'm too much for them and i'm just like what does that even mean like what does that mean you know what i'm saying i'm popular on social media you know it's just a lot like it's just like damn can you look past that like can you look past that because i'm a regular person in real life I do regular things. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't demand anything crazy. I'm a, I'm a real authentic person. Like, you know what I'm saying? I deserve love too, you know? But I just intimidate a lot of people. And, and I guess that's the price you pay for being, you know, popular. But it's just like, I just, I don't know. I just want somebody to not look at that. Like, don't look at Red Rihanna. Look at Ambriana, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at with it. But I mean, I don't know. And then too, for a long time, I wasn't dating because, you know, I just didn't want Dakota seeing me with different dudes. And I just didn't want that. Like, did I put my spray in here? Mm -mm. I'm sorry, y'all. I just got sidetracked. But yeah, like I didn't want Dakota seeing me with different dudes. So I kind of like put dating off. Um, not even gonna lie, but now I'm at a place where, you know, I want to date y'all. This looks so cute. This, this is what I do. Um, I do my makeup sidebar. I do my makeup like this when I don't want to wear like a full face of makeup because I take care of my skin. So I don't wear makeup to cover up anything. I wear makeup to just like enhance if I'm going somewhere, if I'm dressed really nice, I think the makeup, you know, the makeup sets off the entire outfit. But if I'm just going somewhere like just a regular day and i just want to feel cute i will do this just my eyebrows some concealer and i'll put lashes on and look like oh girl that's it you know but back to what i was saying i um i ain't want coda seeing me you know with all these different dudes i was just working on music honestly so but now you know what i'm saying i'm past that i want to actually have something real with somebody but you know these niggas just like oh you you know what i'm saying you too popular you got too much going on and and they just be so intimidated so i'm just like oh my god it's so annoying it's so very 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 annoying so but yeah and what else y'all be asking me y'all be asking me all kind of stuff like i just be like y'all so nosy <laughs> y'all so nosy but um I can touch on a little bit of um, like anxiety um, and like depression because I feel like I've experienced that. Um, and I've never experienced anxiety and depression before. Like I'm naturally, um, I'm naturally like funny and I'm naturally just like outgoing and happy. I don't let shit bother me too much. Um, even though I'm human, shit does bother me. But for the most part, I'm the type of person... Like, I just be like, whatever. Like, I don't let shit bother me. I don't let people see me sweat. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But with anxiety and shit like that, it really, it don't discriminate. Like, it do not discriminate, okay? You could be the happiest, go luckiest person. You could be a good person, a genuine person, a real person, and it will hit you, okay? It will hit you like a ton of bricks. And... When I experienced anxiety, I didn't know what it was. Like, I, I didn't know what it was, like, at all. So, I didn't know how to handle it or, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what to do because I was just like, what is happening, you know? Um, shit, I was calling my mama, like, three nights in a row. It was, like, three, four o'clock in the morning. I'm calling my mama tripping. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm calling my mama because my heart, uh, my chest was, like, very heavy, like... And back then, that was like during the pandemic, like when the pandemic first, 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 first happened. 
I thought it was COVID because one of the symptoms was like shortness of breath and stuff like that. And that was the symptom I was having. I, I was having a hard time breathing. So I thought it was COVID and I was like, oh my God. So I went to the hospital, got tested, did the um, EKGs and all that stuff and everything came back good. And they just like, it's anxiety. And I was just like, wow, like out of all these many years of me living life, I've never experienced like panic attacks, anxiety attacks. I've never experienced that. So it was just... It was just like, wow. I, and I'm saying like, it was just really like, wow. I couldn't believe that somebody like me who's outgoing, who's happy, who's fun. I'm always either encouraging my friends and my family and stuff like that. I could look at y'all and do my makeup, but I like to look in the mirror and be close. But I was just like, how could anxiety get to me? Like, how? Why is this happening to me? But going through the process made me so much stronger y'all like it made me so much stronger it's so crazy how we think certain things are here to destroy us and, and we think certain things are here to like get in our way and that's not true like i feel like if i would not have experienced anxiety it wouldn't have pushed me to want to birth this new woman that i'm becoming you know what i'm saying because i've had to i've had to fight you know what i'm saying i've had to fight the anxiety and fight through the depression and really pick myself up and really motivate my own self and really depend on solely me you know what i'm saying to get me through like nobody could come rock me and pat me on my back like a baby i had to show up for myself you know what i'm saying so anxiety really helped me like it, it really helped me and now that i know what it is you know what i'm saying i don't i don't experience it as much you know what i'm saying and i know how to redirect myself so if you're dealing with anxiety <clears throat> and like depression i feel like the best thing for you to do is for one to acknowledge that you know what i'm saying okay i'm anxious oh shit i'm tripping and then the next minute is you really have to like coach yourself and talk to yourself and really just be like i'm fine I'm having a good day. Nothing is happening. Nothing is wrong. You know, I'm blessed. And to, and to I've always had a relationship with God. Um, I gave my life to Christ many, many years ago, even before I had Dakota. Um, and I used to go to church, even with Dakota. I used to have her in her car seat. And, and I used to be marching in church by myself, like literally having her in church with me. This little newborn baby slinging her to church with me. So I've been gave my life to Christ um, and I used to take her to church and stuff like that. So, yeah, I feel like you need God. You got to put God first in everything that you do. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not going to make it depending on other other outlets. You know what I'm saying? You need something pure. You need something real. You need something supernatural to really get you through. You know what I'm saying? Some of the weird shit that you're going to experience in life. So if you're dealing with anxiety, oh, baby, you're not alone okay you're not alone we it happens to the best of us but it's manageable you can get through it um you know you just gotta take it one day at a time and two don't beat yourself up like we get so hard on ourselves. you know why am i not perfect or why am i not okay why am i not happy why am i not what did i do to deserve this but you know, if you don't ever go through anything in life and if you don't ever face any challenges, how will you grow? You know what I'm saying? So it's important to to understand that. It's important to know that things aren't happening to you to destroy you. Don't get me wrong. There is a such thing as the enemy. You know what I'm saying? The enemy do want you to give up. The enemy do want you to, to be like, uh-uh, I can't do this. But that's not the purpose of it. The purpose of it is for you to get stronger. That's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why the enemy to be attacking you. So, um, this book, my auntie, I got it for Christmas. My auntie sent it to me. Um, it's a devotional book. It's like a book with little daily devotions and like daily little, um, like little quotes. And I read it every single day. So whatever date it is, I just read that. And it literally changed my life. Literally, literally changed my life. It changed my mindset. It changed my perspective. It changed a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I love that book. It's called Jesus Calling. I think she got it on Amazon. Um, yeah, I think she got it on Amazon and then she shipped it to me. So I read that every single day and that helps me out. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you need to find an outlet. You need to find a positive outlet, whatever 
that is. You know what I'm saying? Try something different. Do things different. The reason you're probably experiencing anxiety is because you've been doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Things aren't changing. You know what I'm saying? So now you getting worked up, you know? So I feel like everything that I went through as far as anxiety was literally pressuring me to make changes, you know what I'm saying? To do things different, try different things, travel more, and really live life and enjoy life. Because I feel like that's what I've been missing. You know, I've been missing that. I've been missing enjoying my life. I've been just focused on being a mom. I've just been focused on um doing music. Oh, I got to do music. I got to do da 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 and working. I literally, like, stopped doing stuff for me. I literally stopped thinking of me and stop taking care of me you know what i'm saying and you can't do that um especially as a woman you know what i'm saying in order for you to take care of anything in order for you to be there for anybody you have to take care of you you know what i'm saying i was oh i was thirsty child you have to take care of you you know what i'm saying so i feel like like i say everything i went through I needed it. I'm thankful for it because it's really pushed me into like a new season of my life. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even be doing this video, you know, like because I wouldn't even have anything to talk about. Like, you know, so don't let anxiety get the best of you. Don't be afraid to say, I got anxiety. Don't be afraid to say I'm depressed. Don't be afraid to say I'm sad. Don't be don't be afraid to, you know what I'm saying? Admit that everybody's not perfect all the time. Everybody's not happy all of the time. That's you know what I'm saying? That's almost fake to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to be around. Like, if you ain't never been through nothing, I'm a little nervous for you. Because I'm just like, ooh, what's going to happen when you do finally go through something? Like, is you going to be able to make it? Like, you have to go through things in life. So, you know, life humbles you. Life teaches you valuable lessons that you would not get if it wasn't for hardships. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just wanted y'all to know that. So, don't beat yourself up too bad. You know, get around some people who got your best interests at heart, you know, and really just make some ne make the necessary changes that you need to make um, so you can see some growth, you know. Um, yeah. So, y'all, I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all so, so, so very much. Um, I want to do a giveaway once I do reach 100,000 subscribers. Um, but I'm, I'm new to this whole content creator vlogging, um, uh, situation. So I need to know in the comments, um, what type of giveaway should I do? Like, how should I do the giveaway? I want to know, like, I want to make it fun. I want to make it, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I don't want it to be too much. Like I'm not doing all that. I want it to be simple, easy, and straight to the point. So that way I can pick a winner and send you whatever. And so I don't even know what to give away. What should I give away, y'all? Y'all need to let me know. Let me know what I need to give away too. And also in the comments, let me know um, what type of other videos y'all want to see. I know a lot of y'all always asking about Dakota. Where's Dakota? Do a video with Dakota. And it's just like, ugh. The social, like the internet makes me so nervous because it's just like when my daughter gets older and stuff like that, you know, she's going to be looking at these videos and I don't want her to be like, mom, why you made me do that? Or like, I don't know. I just, I think too much, but I'm, um, let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see with Dakota. Like, cause she wants to be on YouTube, but I just feel like she's too young. She's six, like she's six years old and I'm subjecting my child to the internet. Like, I don't know about that. So yeah, just let me know what type of videos y'all want to see so i feel like i talked about um i feel like i talked about pretty much everything i wanted to talk about um don't forget to make sure you like comment and subscribe and stuff like that if you're not um like i say once i hit that 100k mark we're doing a giveaway because i really appreciate y'all so very much um and y'all i'm surprised I'm actually doing my makeup really good because I can't even lie. Like, I, I, when I do my makeup, it needs to be peace and quiet. I need to be, uh-uh. I just can't, I can't do it. I don't know why, but it's like I can't 
talk because it's like you lose your train of thought of what you're trying to say <laughs> but i'm actually doing good y'all i'm actually i'm actually doing pretty good and if you ladies um want to see like a makeup a full-fledged makeup tutorial of like the products i'm using um let me know that too you know if you want to see like a full detailed detailed video of me um I feel like, shit, this was full-fledged. Y'all really been sitting here watching me do my makeup. Um, but, like, the products and stuff that I use, um, let me know down below. Um, but, yeah, I feel like this video was much needed because y'all can relate to me a little bit more. And I, I just come from an era where posting yourself online and posting your personal self online is just, you know... Like, we didn't do that. We, di we didn't do that. I feel like this is for the new age and the younger kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm grown. Like, I'm grown. I feel like I don't have to get on the internet and, and you know. But I'm, I'm realizing that that was small-minded of me to just think that, you know, nobody would want to really get to know me. You know what I'm saying? Nobody would really want to learn more about me and and relate to me you know what i'm saying because i was just focused on music i'm just like i'm gonna just give the music but that's that's small-minded you know what i'm saying you got to think big i have a whole brand you know what i'm saying i've created a brand for myself um and y'all been rocking with me you know what i'm saying i real deal created this whole movement and and y'all rocking with me so i feel like i kind of like oh y'all that you know i owe y'all a little insight of you know the real me um, the reason why I haven't done like vlogs and stuff like that, cause I haven't really been nowhere. Y'all got that in my eye. Oh, baby. Um, and I'm really trying to play it off right now, but that junk hurt. Um, it's like irritating my eye a little bit, but I haven't done like vlogs and stuff like that. Cause I really haven't been nowhere. Um, but I am going to start traveling. Um, I just recently applied for my passport Y'all, speaking of passports, I've been wanting to do my passport since 2017. I had that note in my, um, I had that on my to-do list in my notes since 2017. And y'all, I never got around to doing it. Like, never got around to doing it. Mothers, I really want to encourage y'all to stop thinking about them kids all the time. You know what I mean? And, we for, we lose ourselves in our kids. We we stop taking vacations. We stop doing nice things for ourselves. We stop going to get our nails and toes done. We you know what I'm saying? We stop doing things because we feel like our kids need us 24/7 or some of you ladies don't have, you know, y'all don't have the support and the help. Um so I understand I get that, but it's really important that you do not lose yourself. You know what I'm saying? I have not been nowhere. Like now that I think about it, I real deal have not been nowhere. Um, I put off getting my passport because I'm just like, uh-uh. Even though I do have support and help, I'm just like, man, uh-uh. I don't want to leave my baby. Like, I don't want to leave. <laughs> like, the life of being a good mama. Like, mm-mm. So, ladies, take you a trip or two or three. Get your passport. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to get Dakota's passport. Um, I think with the kids, both parents have to be present. So, we're going to do that. Because I'm probably going to take her with me um, on some of these trips. Um, and some trips, I'm going to be going by myself. So, um, yeah, ladies, don't don't lose yourself. Like, don't, don't do that. I, I made that mistake of just, like, you know, giving up on me. And, and my only outlet was music. You know what I'm saying? That was like, I was like, music is the one thing that I'm going to keep for myself. Because that benefits me and my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Um, it generates money. You know, and, and I'm showing her that whatever you want in life, you got to work hard for it. You know, so that was the one thing I said I was going to keep for myself was my music. So, you know, don't lose yourself, ladies. I, I hope I hope that message helps. Um, It was something else I wanted to talk about. I can't remember, child. My mind so bad. My mind is so, so, so very bad. So, yeah, when y'all see me taking trips... I will um I will vlog that for y'all, of course. And I will post that. Um I will post that so y'all can see 
Um, I really want to go to um, Tulum, Tulum, Mexico. I think that's the first stop for me. First stop, Tulum, okay? I don't know if I'm going to be with my friends or with somebody fine-ass son. I don't know, but I don't care which one. Whichever one come first, I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? I just want to travel, um, experiencing death in the family recently. You know, it really just got me like, man, I got to start living my life. You know what I'm saying? I really got to start living life and really start just being free. You know what I'm saying? Really not taking life for granted, which I never have, but really, really, really like for real, really, really, really living my life, you know, not thinking so much and worrying about what people think of me. And, you know, even like this video now, I would never have done no video like this. You know what I'm saying? Cause I just, you know, not saying that I care about what people think, but the internet is, the internet is weird. The internet is rude. They literally pick you apart for being you, you know what I'm saying? They literally say something about everything. They complain about everything. And I don't care what people think of me. But it's just like, I don't want to hear that. I do not want to hear your damn opinions about me. Because I'm sure if I, if I saw you on the screen, I probably wouldn't be impressed. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, people need to be mindful of the mean, nasty things that they say about people. I mean, it doesn't bother me. But you know what I'm saying? There are some people who struggle with being insecure and people who aren't confident and stuff like that. So it's like, why would you add to that why would you why would you think that's cute and nice to like pick on people like i don't know so yeah that's that's where i'm at with that but i'm gonna do more videos and like i say y'all just make sure to comment and tell me what kind of videos y'all want to see um but yeah i enjoy talking with y'all and if y'all like i say the videos y'all really want to see the questions y'all want to know Ask them down below and I'll do a video. Um, I think my next video is going to be a try on haul of like some new pieces that I got from like either Fashion Nova. Because y'all always like, oh, my outfit's cute. Y'all always want to know, you know, just little details about me. So I'm going to really start getting into that and, and really start posting, you know, some of my looks for y'all. So y'all can go cop some of the stuff that, you know, I be wearing. So y'all know lashes uh-uh i cannot do my lashes with y'all looking at me like i can't i'm i can't do it i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all right now i cannot do it and then y'all talking and y'all loud uh-uh i can't do it so y'all i may i think i'm gonna try i'm gonna try oh something in my eye y'all i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to do my um my lashes hold on y'all something in my eye Something is in my eye. Dakota's outside playing right now. Y'all. Something is real deal bothering my eye. I think I got it. Yeah, that feel better. So, y'all, I'm going to try to do my lash. Y'all ready? Because I cannot. I cannot do it. Like, I need complete silence. I need... Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Lashes ain't no joke, baby. So, we finna see how this go. Is this the right way? Y'all. This one was the right one. Alright, y'all. Let's see. Mm-mm. Y'all know y'all gotta clean it off. Y'all, uh-uh. I'm going to try to do this with y'all looking at me and talking. Y'all got to be quiet. Shh, 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 shh. And y'all know I'm using hair glue. I can't use nothing else. Hair glue. <laughs> like, I can't use nothing else. I don't even know how to use the white glue because, uh-uh, that got to get sticky and all that stuff first. Mom. Yes, Dakota. Let me put my lash on. <laughs> Close the door. Is it all of the charges? Yeah. In a few minutes, it'll be done? Yes, Dakota.
Bye. All right, y'all. You know, kids always interrupt. Wait, don't put, don't, don't put all this stuff on the floor, okay? Because I don't want to make a mess. I'm going to come in some more lemonade. Mommy. Dakota, I'm making a video, honey. We, me and Dora are selling toys for free. How y'all selling toys for free? We selling toys for free. Okay. So me and Do it's me and Dora's um selling shop. Okay, girl. Oh y'all, I did it. I did it. I put the lash on. Hallelujah. Can I say hey? Hallelujah. Just say hey, girl. Okay. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> like, girl. All right, y'all. Let's try to do the other one. Okay, oh bye, my God. God. Let's bye. try to do the other one. My car, I'm gonna charge it. Let's try to do the other one. Dakota just got to make a... Dakota, I'm t you're interrupting my video. Okay, I'm going to Wash your hands. All right. The life of a parent, like literally... I already knew she was going to interrupt at some point or another. She's outside, and I can see her from my window right here. I got the window open. So, y'all, let's try this other one. Mommy, yes, Dakota. If you put see me, then that means that I'm under the porch. Okay. If you can't see me, then that means that I'm under the porch. Okay. If you can't see me. Y'all, this one slid on perfect. Uh oh, maybe I spoke too soon. And maybe I ain't put enough glue. Y'all, I spoke too soon. Do I need my mask? All right, y'all. This is as good as it's gonna get, okay? <laughs> That's as good as it's gonna get. So, I am going to brush off the rest of this um powder, setting powder. Oh, y'all, I should have put some setting powder on my forehead. I'm creasing, child. I'm getting all wrinkly. I'm getting all wrinkly. <laughs> So, yeah, this is my final look. I'm going to spray and do some little last-minute knickknacks. So, I am done with my makeup. Um, I'm going to go fix my hair, make sure my lace and stuff is not showing. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-mm. Yeah, it's cute. Mm, cute. Mm-hmm, cute. All that good stuff. So... Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. Um, I hope this video is to your liking. I hope this video helped you in some way, shape, or form. Um, I hope you're inspired. I hope you're motivated. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming to the show. Um, yeah, and make sure y'all comment. I know I keep saying it, but I want y'all to do it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you comment down below um, what kind of videos y'all want to see. Um, and if I can do it, I'll do it. If it's something, you know, that I want to do, I'll do it. So, yeah. Bye.